Hey what's up everyone my name is David and welcome to 10 minute tutorials. On this channel I talk about all things e-commerce, marketing, entrepreneurship and everything is broken down into 10 to 15 minute tutorials. Now in today's video I'll be covering Google Ads in detail. By the end of this video you'll have a complete understanding of how to navigate the Google dashboard, how you can create campaigns like this one, how you can use Google's keyword planner tool as you see over here, how we can set up conversion tracking and just everything that you need to know when it comes to ads on Google you learn in this tutorial. So if that interests you then stick around, subscribe and let's get into today's video. Now to kick this tutorial off there are a couple things I want to talk about before we go ahead and actually create our account on Google Ads. The first one is how does Google Ads work? The second one is I want to define Google Ads campaign structure and the third one is I want to talk about what Google Ad conversion tracking is. It's important we cover these three topics before creating a Google Ads account so that when we're in the dashboard together, you have a better understanding of the different things I'm clicking and how we can navigate it. So let's go ahead and take a look at how Google Ads works. So if we take a look at my screen over here, this is a good representation of all of the different steps involved in creating a Google Ad. It's important to note that you don't necessarily need to know all of the details, but it's important to have a good understanding of the overview. So the first step here is that a user searches for a particular keyword on Google. Once they do that, Google will hold a quick auction for that keyword amongst all of the advertisers bidding for it. Then based on all of the advertisers, Google will basically look at all of the ads and give a quality score and assess its relevancy. Based on the relevancy and quality score, it will give you an ad rank. So it combines the bid amount and quality score to basically rank the highest quality ads. And then the highest ranking ads are basically what are shown at the top. And they're the ones that usually get the most clicks. So now that we have a good basic understanding of how Google Ads works, we can now take a look at the Google Ads account structure. So at the very top over here, we have our Google Ads account. It's usually one per business. Once you have your ad account, the next step is to create a campaign. Now you can have multiple campaigns in your ad account. Within these campaigns, you have something called ad groups. And generally speaking, you would have about seven to 10 ad groups per campaign. And these ad groups basically help you divide your campaigns into specific niches. So let's say, for example, my campaign is about selling t-shirts. These ad groups could potentially be red t-shirts, blue t-shirts, green t-shirts. So I'm able to divide them accordingly based on their color. Now within these ad groups, you have specific ads. So you can have ads for your red t-shirts. You can have ads for your blue t-shirts, so on and so forth. And you can go ahead and even have your keywords within these ads. So for example, your keyword could be buy red t-shirt best red t-shirts, so on and so forth. And it's good to usually have about two to three ads per ad group and no more than 20 keywords in an ad group. Okay, so these are just some basic metrics you should know. Finally, guys, you have your landing pages. This is very self-explanatory. So that's the basic Google ad account structure. You have your account. Within your account, you have your campaigns. Within your campaigns, you have your ad groups. Within your ad groups, you have your ads and your keywords. And then finally, you have your landing pages. So once we have this understanding, the final thing I want to talk about before we go on to our dashboard is what conversion tracking is. Now understanding conversion tracking is very important because without conversion tracking, you can't measure the success of your Google Ads campaigns. And that's why I wanted to show you this illustration. So over here, once again, somebody searches for your services on Google, they click your ad, and then on your ad, you could have a contact form. They then submit that contact form, which then leads them to a thank you page, that conversion right there of submitting that web form and going to your thank you page is what is a conversion. And that's how we can track and optimize our campaigns. So now that we have these three things that we talked about from how Google Ads works, our ad account structure and what conversion tracking is, we can now go ahead and create our Google Ads account. So let's go back to ads.google.com. Now, once we're on our Google Ads homepage, one very quick detail I want to point out is that if we scroll down right here, Sometimes we can see that Google has amazing sign up offers for new accounts. So for example, it's telling us right here that if I spend 600 Canadian dollars in Google ads in the first 60 days, they will give me $600 in ad credit. So with that in mind, now we're going to go ahead and press the start now button, create your account. And once you do that, I'll see you on the other side. Now, once we do that, we'll be directed to this page over here, which says create your first campaign. You can go ahead and click it. And what we're actually going to go ahead and do over here is put in some of our information. So go ahead and put in your business name, your website, and then let's move on to the next step. Now, once you've entered your information, you can go ahead and link any account you have over here. So a YouTube channel, a mobile app, so on and so forth. I'm just going to go ahead and skip this for now. 
Then next over here, Google is asking us to create our first campaign, but we're going to go ahead and actually skip this. Okay, we're just going to create our account. So go ahead and press the set up an account only. So we skip this step. So once you skip that, the final step over here is to just go ahead and add in your billing currency and payment information. So do that and then I'll see you in the main dashboard. So once we've completed the account creation process, you should be directed to this page over here, which is Google Ads main dashboard. Now, depending on when you watch this tutorial, the dashboard might change a bit, but don't be too concerned. The general settings are always the same. Now, the first thing I want to talk about over here is that on the left side, you have different options available. Over here, you can go ahead and set up your conversion tracking like we talked about. You can go ahead and press this tools option to see all of the different tools that Google has for you. You can press the create button, which we'll do in a second to create a dummy campaign together. And then here you have things like your billing information and your admin information. So the very first thing I want to go ahead and talk about is a couple of tools you can use on Google ads. So if you go to tools right here and then go over here to where it says planning, you can see this option which says keyword planner. So go ahead and click that. Now this keyword planner tool is an extremely powerful tool that I recommend everybody use. And I'll very quickly talk about it in this tutorial. So basically over here, you can go ahead and discover new keywords and figure out how many people are searching for it, how much it costs to bid for these keywords and what the overall competition is. So to do that, you can go ahead and press this discover new keywords option. And once you do that, you'll be directed over here where you can go ahead and put in any keyword you're interested in and then select a location for them. So let's say, for example, I'm interested in men's luxury watch. That's what I want to sell. And I want to sell it to people in Canada and the United States. I can go ahead and include that country right here. Press save and press get results. Now over here, we can see that Google has loaded up this table, which has all of our keywords that are similar to what we've typed in and the average monthly searches for each of these keywords and how much basically the competition is and what it costs to, for example, bid for these keywords. Now you can sort these columns by monthly searches from highest to lowest or lowest to highest. And similarly, you can go ahead and select a particular keyword and you can add them to your plan so that you can use them in the future. So with that in mind, the next thing I want to talk about very quickly is how you can set up conversion tracking. So we can go to our goals option right here and then go to conversions and then press the summary option to create conversions for Google ads. So once we press our summary option, we'll be directed over here where we can go ahead and click this new conversion action. So go ahead and do that. So once you do that, you'll be directed over here to where it says start tracking conversions. And for this particular example, I'm just going to go ahead and track it for a website. Now, the next step over here is to go ahead and put in your domain URL. Once that's put in, scroll down over here to where it says create conversion actions manually using code. It's important to note that there's multiple different ways you can create conversion actions. You can create them via Google Analytics, Tag Manager. I'm just going to show you how to do it manually for the sake of simplicity right now. But just know that conversion tracking can be a pretty complicated topic. And there's plenty of amazing tutorials out there that go into detail of how you can set this up. So for my example, I'm just going to go ahead and select add a conversion action manually. And then over here, you can go ahead and select a category for your conversion. I'll keep it very simple. I'll just scroll down right here to page view and then go ahead and give the conversion a name. And then for the value, I'll just go ahead and say that this conversion doesn't really have a value for count. I'll just keep it at this. And then over here, I can just scroll down to these same settings, just leave them as is and then press the done option. Now, once I have that completed, I can scroll down over here to where it says turn on enhanced conversions. And this is always good to keep on because it basically allows Google to improve its measurements. And then once you have that set up, just go ahead and press agree and continue over here. Now, the next step over here is to go ahead and set up a Google tag to actually measure our conversions. So what is a Google tag? Basically, a Google tag is a piece of code. It's this code right here that you'll see in a second. So this over here, which you need to put onto your website's header section so that Google can basically communicate with your website and understand exactly what's happening. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now by copying this code, going into my WordPress dashboard right here, using a free plugin called WP code, which allows me to put custom code onto my website. And then in my header and footer section over here, I'll just go ahead and paste the code right here and then press the save changes. So once I've saved my code, I can go back to my Google ads account over here, press the test installation button to see if it works. And we can see successfully that our Google tag was correctly detected on our website. Perfect. We're good to go. We can press the confirm option right here. And the final step we need to do right now is go over here to where it says measure individual conversions with event snippets and go ahead and click this over here. And this is again a piece of code we need to install. So once again, I'll just go ahead and copy it and then go back to my header section once again. Just scroll down and press the copy and paste option. Press save changes. 
and we're good to go. All right. So that's in a nutshell how you can go ahead and set up conversion tracking manually on Google. Now, once we have our conversion tracking set up, now we can go ahead and actually create our campaign. So to create our campaign, we're going to go ahead and press this create option right here and select this campaign option. So once you do that, the next step over here is to just go ahead and put in your information for your business. I put mine in and then press the next option. And then over here, you can go ahead and choose your campaign objective. For this example, because I'm not really necessarily creating anything, I'll just create a campaign without a goals guidance. And then over here, we have the different types of ads you can run. Now there's multiple different ads from Performance Max to, for example, video-based ads to shopping ads. For this example, I'll keep it at search. Just know that the overall fundamentals of everything I'm saying applies to all of these campaigns. There are just some tweaks, for example, in video ads, you need to put a video. For shopping ads, you need to put products. But overall, the basic premise applies. So I'll go ahead and keep it at search for now. And then over here, once we have that selected, I have my conversion tracking set up right here. So we can see I have my page views. I'll keep it as is and press the continue button. So once we press the continue button over here, we can go ahead and say that my main goal is website visits and my homepage is where I want to go. And then you can give your campaign a name. Once you have a campaign name in place, go ahead and press continue. Now, the next step over here is to tell Google, what do you want to focus on? Do you want this campaign to focus on conversions, clicks, impressions? For new campaigns, I recommend starting with clicks so that you can get as many clicks as possible. And then based on that, you can then begin optimizing for conversions. So for now, I'll just keep this at click. For this, I'm just going to go ahead and actually deselect it because for this, you actually need some conversion data as Google is telling us. So let's just go ahead and deselect that for now and then go ahead and press this next option. Now over here, you have the option of the different networks where Google will advertise for you. So you have Google's search partner networks and Google's display network. I highly recommend you actually deselect both because this is basically Google telling you that, hey, your ads will show up not just on Google search results, but on partner websites also. And these aren't the best performing ads in my opinion. So I'm just going to go ahead and deselect them. Over here, you can go ahead and select your locations. Very self-explanatory, everyone. You just press this button and you can choose exactly what you want over here. So I'll keep it at, for example, Canada. Or you can go ahead and enter a new location by selecting this option and putting the country in. So I'll keep it at Canada. And then over here where it says include, I'm just going to go ahead and choose the second option because this basically tells Google that, hey, I want people that are in or regularly in Canada, not just people that show interest in Canada. Okay, so that's the one that I recommend. Once you have your location settings in place, you can scroll down to languages, put any language you want. For example, if I want to put French because I'm in Canada, I can include that over here also. And then over here, you can scroll down to where it says audience segment and go ahead and click that. So once we do that, we can see we have these options available over here. And basically what audience segments is, is that you can target people based on certain interests that they show. So let's say, for example, I'm interested in selling watches. I can go ahead and put luxury watches here. And we can see that Google is telling me that there are people that are interested in watches so I can target them, so on and so forth. You can go ahead and select the different things or you can browse their categories over here. So I'll just go ahead and clear this for now, but you can go ahead and put in this information for yourself. Now, once we have that in over here, we can scroll down to the next option right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And then over here, you can go ahead and put in your keywords and asset generation. So this is basically Google using their AI to figure out what keywords you should go after. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and skip this because we will enter keywords manually ourselves. Now, the next step over here is to go ahead and put in your keywords manually. So I went ahead and did this right here. We can see these are my three keywords. And you'll notice that some of my keywords have quotations around them. Some of them have brackets. And that's because these represent different match types. Now, the best way to explain match types is to take a look at the screenshot by Google themselves. And based on the different match types you select, it will basically tell Google how lenient or how strict their targeting should be. So go ahead and pause the video, take a look at this. And once you have a good understanding, we can scroll back to our main dashboard. So once you have your keywords in place, the next step over here and the final step is to actually create your ad. So over here, you can go ahead and put in your ad URL. You can put in the different headlines. So over here, you can add the three different headlines. And if you scroll down the descriptions and over here, you can go ahead and add in your site links. Your site links are basically links you can put onto your ad that you want people to click. So it could be your contact page, it could be your homepage, so on and so forth. You can go ahead and add it. So give me a second while I go ahead and put all of this information in so you see what the ad looks like when it's completed. So here we go, everyone. I went ahead and filled out my ad details. I have my display path. I have my different headlines and descriptions right here. And I went ahead and added two site links. So you can go ahead and see what it looks like on mobile devices and desktops by going ahead and previewing these two buttons, okay? And then Google will give you an ad average strength based on what it thinks your ad's performing, based on your keywords, so on and so forth. 
And once you have all of this information in place, you can go ahead and press this option right here, which is next. Finally, guys, the last step over here is to go ahead and set up your budget. So just choose how much you want to spend per day. And then based on that, it will give you weekly estimates of how many clicks you'll get, so on and so forth. Over here, you can choose the recommended one or go ahead and set your custom amount. I'll just keep it as is and press next right here. So once we have that completed, we can see right here, Google is telling us our campaign is ready to publish and we're good to go. So that's pretty much how you create a campaign from scratch on Google. The steps are the same for most other campaign types. You just have to add a couple other things like maybe videos for video ads, shopping products for shopping ads, so on and so forth. So on that note, if you like this tutorial, then go ahead and press the subscribe button and share it with your friends. And if you're interested in more content like this on Google Ads, marketing, e-commerce, AI, then go ahead and check out my channel. I have all kinds of videos that I create in 10 to 15 minutes. So on that note, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.